Okay, we're on. Um, welcome to tonight's meeting of the Budget Committee, a regularly scheduled meeting. Uh, we'll start with the roll call, starting with Mark. Mark LeMay, Selectman's Rep. Sonny Trumley. Lisa Jukes. Shea Sennett. Joe Spurl. Brian Lewis. Diane McCarthy, School Board Rep. Ruth Gage. Richard Fletcher. Uh, I forget. <laughs> <laughs> Guy Karen. <laughs> Lee Sperry. Pete George, at this chair. Okay, we'll call the meeting to order. Um, okay, we need to go through quite a few minutes. Uh, did you still have that list? I gave you a whole list of minutes to do. November 21st. It goes back to uh, October, I think. Yeah. Well, we got some lots of orders. No. Okay, we got a budget committee. Yeah, I have one from 10. On I have one from 1017. <laughs> I got a person for that. Excuse me. Okay, minutes. September nineteenth. That was the last one. So I, have this, I had a list, and I, I thought I gave it back to you. In fact, I know you guys. I'll give you that now. I'm not going to do it. So we're going back. How far back do you go? October 17th. I found a. I found a September 19th. That was, that was approved. approved. That was approved. Oh, yeah. yeah. So what did you just tell me to start? October 17th. October 17th. Okay, at that meeting was myself, Mark, Shay, Sonny, Liz Mitchell, Lee, Brian, Ruth, Guy, Joe, Diane, Brian, Lewis, and Lisa. Excuse was Elizabeth and Dick Fletcher. It says here that I was excused also. But it says that under approval of minutes. Oh, I'm sorry. It was the September 19th. Never mind. <coughs> well, I think you were at this meeting. Yeah, I guys. was. Yeah. Any comment on those minutes? Motion, Lee? Motion over. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Do you want to voices on these two? <laughs> You're the chairman, sir. Can we sustain with that for the sure. minutes? Was it in there? How many approved? Mm -hmm. He can't remember how many approved. Well, it wasn't. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <coughs> Abstaining? One. Next one. I've got eleven thirteen. Eleven thirteen. 
9, uh, we're going down this way, 1113. Is that right? That's you got? Go ahead, go. Yep. Yep. Brian Fornia, uh, myself, Brian Fornia, Lee Sperry, Dick Fletcher, Diane McCarthy, Shay, Joe, Lisa, Mark LeMay, Elizabeth, Sonny, Brian Lewis, Ruth Gage, and Guy Karen. Excuse was Liz Mitchell. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. November 13th. Anything on that? Are you saying November 14th? 13th. Oh, I have 14th. We met both nights, 13th and 14th. Okay, this was the this was the first meeting. It looks like of the uh, town side. The presentation. Yes. Mm -hmm. It started off with uh, Sue DeRusso distributed copies. Right. Mm -hmm. Any comments, questions? <coughs> Motion to approve. Second. All in favor? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now we go to the 14th, Lisa. Present was myself, Brian, Lee, Diane, uh, Lisa Jukes, Mark. Sonny, Joe, Dick Fletcher, Shay, Elizabeth, DeBrule, and Brian. Um, Guy was excused, Liz was excused, and Ruth was excused. Motion to approve. Second. Who seconded it? I did. You weren't there, though. You weren't there, Guy. Second. Second. Seconded by Sonny. Mm -hmm. All in favor? <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two abstentions. Yep. Would that be accurate? Now we're at eleven twenty. Again, here, this is the night that Kathy Wooten came in with the sewer, so this is the second night in the town. Myself, Elizabeth DeBrule, Brian, Joe, Lisa. Dick, Lee, Ruth, Guy, Brian, Mark, Liz, Mitchell. Uh, Ruth is in there twice, so she must have voted twice on everything. <laughs> <laughs> and, I try. And Sonny. <laughs> Diane, Diane McCarthy wasn't there. I wasn't there either. Oh, yeah, you weren't there either. But you were excused, weren't you? Yeah, so we need to... We probably want to need to uh, make a, a motion to correct the minutes that she was excused. All in favor of the amended minutes? Just trying to move along here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's go to. 1121. Yeah, I have a correction. Okay. Um, page one. Let me just say who was here, okay, real yep. quick. Um, myself, Mark LeMay, Sonny, Lisa, Brian. Hmm? That's a change right there. Yeah. yeah. Diane Lewis. Diane and Brian were married. <laughs> <laughs> we are neighbors. I had, to look, I had to try to remember, was somebody else here that night? <laughs> Uh, Ruth Gage, Dick Fletcher, Guy Karen, Lee Sperry, and Brian Fournier. Excuse with Elizabeth, Joe, Shay, and Liz Mitchell. Um, you got that or you got Diane Lewis. Is that Diane Lewis. That's my mother's name, by the way. Yeah, actually Brian. <laughs> As attended, Diane McCarthy was here. Under an alias. Under an alias, I was <laughs> Um, motion to approve. I got a correction. No, we, 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 you want I have a correction. Go ahead. Um, on the first page, uh -huh. under public comment, third paragraph, last hold line. On, hold, on, hold on, public comment. Third paragraph, Guy Karen? Yeah, last line. says the board selectmen already said no, so they will most likely hire that officer. What I said was they'd most likely not, not hire that officer. Right.
I don't know if it, I mean, I wasn't there, but it looks like we already approved the minutes for the 14th. I don't know if that matters. Reapproving them. Where? Right under approval of minutes. It says approval of minutes. We didn't do it. It says we did um, S. Tremblay moved, seconded by the board. Oh, really? to approve the minutes. Which date? November 14th. Huh? It's the same page we're looking at for the correction. If you look above, oh. it says that we approved them November 14th minutes. Were you here for those 14th? You weren't here, were you? Were you here the 14th? I don't remember. Uh, no, I don't think so. So that's why I didn't get corrected. So you're trying to amend the approved minutes? No, 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 no. What, he, what he's referring to is in the November 21 minutes, there's reference to already having approved the November 14 minutes, which we just did a minute ago. Oh, right. no, okay, no, so that's, yeah. okay, I yeah. understand what you're saying. And also the October 17th. Yeah. So well, they're, they're certainly approved now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't know if it matters, but I just wanted to, I just wanted to point it out. We'll just double check him. Vote on the 21st. Oh, motion to approve. All in favor? With the corrections, Repeat. of course. Corrected minutes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Abstaining? I'm abstaining. I was one, not. two. Leon. Eleven twenty one. Uh, we just did that. We're on eleven twelve five. We're on twelve five. Uh, I wasn't here. Lee Sperry, Elizabeth, Liz Mitchell, Brian, Guy, Karen, Shay Senate, Lisa, Nick Campanzano was in as the budget at the board of selections rep. Diane McCarthy, um, Dick Fletcher, Joe, and Brian Fournier. Ruthie and I were excused. Oh, I was at that meeting and it's not on there. I was present. Does what anybody remember if Sonny was there? Yeah. Oh, what just day was it? <laughs> <laughs> December 5. December 5. Sorry, I just want to make sure. He was there. I was, I was there, not there. He said was. you were there. I was there. Brian Lewis is yes, there. Yes, you were there. Yeah. Do you remember being there? I do. <laughs> <laughs> then we Breathe did it right. All right. Motion? Motion to approve with correction. Second. Go ahead, Guy. Go ahead. No, I'm sorry, with the correction that, that, we, add, was that we add Sonny. Okay. All in favor? Well, I can't vote. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> eight, nine. Opposed? Abstaining? <clears throat> two, three. Three, three abstentions. Twelve, twelve, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Present was. Um, so hold on, Joe. The present was myself, Mark Lemay, Sonny Tremblay, Lisa, Joe, Shay, Liz, Lee Sperry, Elizabeth Dubrule, Diane McCarthy, Ruth Gage, Dick Fletcher, Brian Lewis, and Brian Fournier. I was not. That was, and that's when you sent me an email. But I had already. I, I didn't open up when you got here, so he oh. was excused. He sent me an email after I had already left the house. You know, I think he sent it like 6.15 or something. No, no, no I sent it around 3.30. You sure? <laughs> exactly. Oh, no, I thought that's possible. I mean, I just didn't open it, and I came, might have just come, ran in from work and came right here. So. 4.07. It was late. I know that. You go early or not. 6.15. Well, I did get one the other day for 6.15. Um... All in favor? Oh, can I, I just had a couple of minor things. Oh, yep. on, the, on page one, one. Um, where Elizabeth DeBrule said, I think this is an excellent budget for a regular year, but we're looking at a $250 increase in tax bills. Um, I think we should just add the phrase, from the default school budget alone. I think that was her point. She's not here to confirm it. but. And then at the bottom of page one, it says, now we have left Dunbarton. It should be Dunbarton has left us. 
and then on page two where it's um, my comment actually I was asking a question it makes it look like a statement if the school default budget passes we are looking at a $250 increase not including special contracts or special articles I was just asking for clarification from Elizabeth so just put a question mark there maybe that's all so the motion to approve with uh, corrections motion Second. all in favor oh wait a minute can I second it I wasn't there no, we can't second it then I'll second it just to move it around. All in favor? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Abstaining? One. Okay, that takes care of that. And we <coughs> still have a couple of sets left to go, right? That we don't have yet. Okay, next it would be public comment, right? Mm -hmm. We have any public comment? Go right ahead, state your name. Sure. You can sit right there. You can put those on the floor, Joe. <laughs> you can have water. Oh, thank you. <laughs> My name is Gady Banner, and I live on 12, 12 Joffrey Street in uh, Goffstown, and I would like to li read a letter that I emailed to you folks, and you did not get a copy, a hard copy, but you did get an email mm -hmm. copy. Mm -hmm. But I'd like to, to read it so it could be pub on public um, TV. Okay, text out. How long is this going to be, Gertie? Well, I'll we go, as fast, I'll go as fast as I can, okay. but I think it's important that the people know. Does it have anything know. to do with the, directly with the budget that we're working on, or I is, believe it, so. is this a... Uh, I, I believe so. Okay. Okay. Taxed out reverse mortgages, tax liens, and social services are, are now solutions to our taxes. If you go on gosstown.com and view the December 12, 2013 Budget Committee meeting on GTV, you will hear some comments that um, people Barry, were telling us. can we get us. to what your point is on the budget instead of a, a commentary? That's the, well, it is a comment. It's, it has I'm to do right with... Right to the budget items that you want us to look at, please. We've got oh, a lot of work to okay. do in a short time to do it. Okay. Well, I think this is important that you give me a chance to read this. I'm a taxpayer, and it is public comment, and it has to do with the budget. So I'm asking to no, allow I'm asking me time. What budget please. items are you asking us to look well, at? Well, it has to do with a lot of things. Okay. okay if you go listen. ahead and give us the items, okay. and we can look at that area. Oh, uh, well, um, outrageous um, benefits that total 50 to 75 percent of generous salaries. Uh, salaries that uh, account for three times as much as our average Gosstown employees, uh, Gosstown citizens earn? Uh, should we make uh, cuts to one or two paraprofessionals or custodians that earn less than $22,000? Uh, $22, or should we cu be cutting from the top earners? Um, why are we asking always the taxpayer to be sacrificing when there's no more for us to give? Why should we be spending $100,000 plus um, benefits that add up to 50% to hire a superintendent when we already have two assistant superintendents and we're, we're doing just fine with those two? Um, we know we have an interim superintendent, correct? Right, but we have, um, but yeah. they're trying to hire a, a full-time superintendent well, right now. The superintendent we have right now is a full-time superintendent. Okay, but they're trying to hire out, though, another person. Because the one we had, so they're replacing one that... Yeah. Right, but we have, what I'm trying to say is that we're functioning right now with an interim person, and in addition to that, we have, um, well, we usually have two assistant superintendents and one superintendent. So I'm saying, why have three people, okay, when you can have only two? A major superintendent and then one assistant 
uh, superintendent. So you'd be cutting one salary and you'd be saving $100,000. Uh, let's, let's just not have it call. Let a reader thing and, okay. and we can move on, okay? And I'm asking, why are we offering um, people $26 an hour when other towns are paying for similar uh, positions at $21 an hour? Why are we hiring full-timers when perhaps we should be hiring two part-timers? And I thought this was a good idea that you folks cut 3% of salaries, and not from the, the little guy, but maybe for the people that are making $50,000. But I saw on GTV that you weren't willing to do that. And um, why can't we follow suit with the public okay, um, sector and offer only 6% on um, retirement contributions? And as Elizabeth said, a lot of people... Um, a lot of companies out there aren't offering too much for health benefits, and 75% contribution would be very generous, and we're doing, what, 81 to 90%. So a cut to 75% would help us also. And uh, also, um, why are we paying for people's master's degrees and to further their education when we as taxpayers have to pay for our own uh, degrees? So anyhow, I mean, I can go on and on with ideas on how to um, cut the budget, but we're asking you to please help us, you know. And I did want to give you that official petition, which you refused before. Um, <laughs> but, it has, but it has to do, it's, it's showing that people are behind me. I right, have and over 50. Have signatures been verified yet? Yes, they have been. The, so the okay. town's accepted that and you ver the lecture the... Uh, well, it wasn't submitted to the town, but the same sig signatures were submitted for other petitions that were verified. And are those signatures, that the petition you were trying to give us, have those signatures been verified yet? On other petitions. On we, your petition, okay. have the signatures been verified yet? I was given to you. Yes I was giving. No I wasn't giving it to the town. I was giving you the petition. But it wasn't submitted. My, you're not answering the question. Have the signatures on your petition been verified yet? on other petitions, not that particular petition. I'm answering then you the question. it's not a petition until that's verified. It is, it is a petition. It's a petition that people sign. I was trying to give it to you and you refused. Okay, but people are behind me, okay, on these requests. Okay. I just wanted to let you know that. So you're okay. trying to pass out a petitioned article, is that right? No, it's not a petition article. It's a petition to the budget committee. It's a petition to the school committee. It's a petition to the selectmen because you folks are doing the budget right now, so it affects the present. So this is why it was submitted to you folks. Okay, but you understand any kind of a petition that would come before a public board, okay, needs to be verified first that those signatures are actually taxpayers in the town of Goffstown. Well, they are. They are. But that needs to be okay. verified. I'm sorry if you don't understand. Okay, I'm, I understand what you're saying. But that's okay. what it has to be done before okay. so we can I should, accept it. I should submit it to the town. Is that what you want me to do? No, I'm not. Well, I don't. I don't care what you okay. do. I'm just telling you. Before we can <coughs> accept it, we have to know we're looking at taxpayers in the town of Goffstown have signed a petition. Okay. I don't know if those some of those people live in Manchester, where New Boston, but it has to be verified signatures in order to be to be a, a, something that I would want to give to this elected board. I'm sorry, Ruth, go right ahead. They have to be legally registered voters of the town of Goffstown, and it has to be verified by the supervisors of the checklist. This is, that's for a petitioned article, but that's not what she's trying to give us. She's just trying to give us yeah. a hand us a petition signed out by the town people in town, and I'm not saying we wouldn't accept it, unless. but the, I, we can't verify the signatures. So I don't know if those signatures are valid or not. But we have, to, I'm trying to say that the same signatures on other petitions, okay, were verified. So yes, okay, they were, the, the signatures were as verified. Kind, as long as you've okay. got some kind of document that verifies those signatures, we will it's accept a, it. So if you want to go up to the, to the town, the, your board or whoever, and have them verify the signatures and bring them back to us, I'll let you pass it out. But until those signatures are verified, I'm not going to submit this board to looking at something that may not even be from this town, from the unregistered voter. Well, they are, sir. Okay. They are. Okay. okay. You have the names. They're printed. They're signed. They have addresses. They have phone numbers. And these particular signatures have been verified on other um, on, on other petitions that will that will be that will be okay you got to help you us to, to help us out. We matter. Okay. We matter. And. You know, it's not acceptable to be told uh, to get a reverse mortgage or to have tax liens or to go to social services or to even be taxed out. 
and keep our taxes going up. It's not acceptable, and that's what I'm saying. And you folks are here, you know, to do the budget. And yes, you're, you're, you can do it line by line, okay? Because you already started doing some of the things line by line. So your hands are not tied, okay? And we're asking you to please help us as taxpayers because it's bad out there, okay? Folks that have a job should be very, very fortunate they have a job. Okay, and it's better to take a little bit of cut and pay and cut and benefit and to have a job rather than have your hours cut even, all right? So a little bit of cut is better than not having a job at all. So that's my point. Thank right, you. Thank you. Anybody else have public comment? Seeing none, we'll continue on with the school. <coughs> Ray is not here. Ray, Ray will be here in a little bit. We also had New Boston's Finance Committee this evening, so he'll be here as soon as that's finished. Uh, Bonnie is here from the business office as well, but Ray will be here. Okay. You skipped the uh, new business. Okay, what's the new business? The letter from Kathy Ball about... Uh, oh, I think I just... That was informational, but yeah, if you want to... It's new business, that's all. Yeah, well, that... I passed the article. Oh, you passed it on yeah. to everybody. I emailed the letter that I received from Kathy Ball that says whose terms were up. And I think Lusa, myself, Sonny, and Elizabeth Dubrule are up this year. I encourage everybody else to run. <laughs> <laughs> anything else, Sonny? No. No, that's it. <coughs> anybody else got anything for new business? So we'll move to finish, try to finish up the school. Do we have anything else in the school to bring up? Has anybody done anything? I got just a, a question. What page are you on? Uh, page 309. <coughs> it's just a clarification or what's going to happen. It's line, it's 432, the annual cost to refinish gym floor, sanding, coats, poly, $3,800. At the last couple meetings of the school board that were on GTV and the last one Monday, the superintendent said that the work, the gym floor was damaged and they had it repaired. And from what I gather, the repair did not take. Is that what yeah, he meant? What it was is they had it repaired, um, but it was just a small area. So then when you refinish it, you could still see the small area. So what happened in order to make it in the quality it was prior to the damage, they completely refinished it. So you, now it's seamless. You can't see so it's the difference that, in that. So case. that is all right now? Um, yes, it is. Okay. So my question would be, was that the way it sounded like that you were going to have to do the floors all over again? You we're know, re talking um, high school, right? No, right. The high school. Yeah, high school is good to go. So in other words, this <laughs> refinishing and sanding would still be... A goal. Yeah. Brian, go ahead. Uh, this is an annual. Um, no, uh, no, I, I understand. What, what we did was a complete um, rest restoration of that gym floor yeah, that included right. repainting, replacing sections of it that were damaged by the drainage issues that we have right. at the high school. Um, separate project. You might have also heard that we recently had an issue with the Mountain View right. um, gym as well. Similar situation. It's been a bad year for gym floors for us. <laughs> no, it just sounded like at the Monday meeting that the, that floor got fixed and it was didn't take again. That's the way I understood it. So if it did that There's and you had to do a whole new floor, would we <coughs> have to do this new sanding and whatever? But if it's, the patches are all right, then obviously this just continues on. There's one section that was replaced that... It's not part of the basketball court, but it's part of where the original damage was from the last flood we had. And we're concerned. It looks like it's, it's coupling. It looks like it's lifting. Uh, we don't know how bad it is or what it's going to look like. We're concerned about it. But we would look at that and say, this section was just replaced, so I'm going to go on the argument that we haven't had a flood, that this is an issue of the contractor. Right and that we're going to treat it as such. So we're not expecting if there is any action that needs to be taken to correct that. 
um, this looks like a job that maybe didn't get done the right way, okay. at least a portion of it. Are we good? Anything else? No, that's it. <coughs> Guy, you got anything? I'm all set. Ray's not here, so I'm not going to get an answer to my question. I think <laughs> we're, um, yeah, I mean, that's where we're at. Do we have a number? Oh, you're asking about the cuts from, from last time? Yeah. 47. It was just under 47 feet. And were there some benefits that included in that? that it was 46,967 was the, the overall list of all the budget committee's cuts. Were there some personnel in there? I don't remember. Yeah. Well, were the benefit numbers factored into those numbers? Yes. Those, those were complete costs. I don't remember. I don't. I don't. We didn't do that at that time because we don't have that information. Um, actually, a lot of the numbers you did yeah, include that. The, the spreadsheet that we provided, along with uh, Ray's detail summary. Had the, the wages and the benefits okay. separate. So we went off, the, we used that sheet, and not this sheet. Right. Okay. But what, what we would do is we would go to the big budget and make sure that each line had, you know, the FICA line, the, all the different lines were appropriately affected. I know the document you worked on, I don't know if you noticed right. all the costs, but it didn't okay. change the benefits. So that, what were the total cuts? 46,967. Let's work off of the sheet. <clears throat> Let me get a calculator to figure that out. Come this is the proposed budget right here. Just take the 350. Take the 252. Minus the 46,000. That's 36 million. 355,000. So take the 355,000. 252. Minus 46,967. 306,607. 308, 285. I come up with the 36,308,285. 36 million 308 285 and the default budget was how much again I don't see it here what the hell did I do with it You missed the picture. Oh, sweet. <laughs> we approved, we approved a bunch of minutes. Oh, okay. What was that? Pete, Pete what, what number did you give us again? Was it 36,308,285? Yes. Default? Is that your question, Pete? No. no. My question is, what is the default? Default is 36 million, 38,000, 038, 327. 327. So take that number from the other one and tell you the difference. One more time, Brian. 38,000, 38, 327. What is it? 36 million. Difference is. 38,000. Yeah, I got that. I got that. I'm trying to figure out the difference. What's the difference? 269958. 269958. Yep. Uh, so the difference between proposed budget and the default budget is 269,958 from the calculations that we just made. But I still have a question on that. Are you going to ask it? I can't because Ray's not here. 
Can Diane help you? I can ask Diane. Maybe she might know. I know Social Super is. I'll give it a go. To okay. You. My question was, with the default budget, when you have something like the roof, was that factored in? And in this year's budget, are uh, the Columbine locks factored into the default? So what I'm no, they're not part of the default because they're not contractual. The but Columbine locks we are hoping to purchase if we have money left over the end of the year. It's a one-time purchase, right? So it would only be in that budget and not the next one. That's my question. That would have to be removed from the default calculation. Exactly. If you spent the money on the defaults this on this out of this current budget, uh, you spent the money for the locks out of the current budget, then that would change your default budget by that amount of money because it's a one-time expenditure. Okay. My question was, was that done with the roof at Mountain View? Was that money when the default budget was figured out, was that changed? And how do I look at that? And I think, like you said, Brian, I think we're going to have to ask Ray. Well, I did share that we paid for the Mountain View roof with what was essentially um, money that we received back. Folks might have read about the local government center had overcharged um, towns and school districts. We received money back from them in the form of um, essentially an uh, premium holiday. That's the money that was used to pay for the roof. Now, the one what I don't want to tell you is whether how he factored that into the default. I'm sorry. I, uh, I it's still you. a one-time expenditure. Yeah. I understand revenues goes on one side and expenditures on the other. Expenditures no, are on no, the other side. I understand side. that it wasn't a revenue; it was a reduction in the rate that we were paying. But it's still. But please let let yeah. Ray answer that. Uh, you understand my question, Elizabeth? Yeah. Elizabeth is looking up. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm puzzled because I mean, I thought the default. I'm not sure if this is the law or not, but I my understanding of the default budget was that one-time expenses were always deducted, contractual obligations were added in. Right. So I'm wondering why we think that that didn't happen. I don't know. I'm asking if that did happen. That's what, and we Ray's not here to answer the question. Okay, and but there's no you, reason to think well, that it didn't happen. Well, the reason why I questioned it, I'm questioning it on the column by locks. Because it's a decision that hasn't been made yet. It's a what if, if we have the money to do it, we're going to do it this year. Okay. So it, when you're looking at the default budget, we're looking at the default budget from next year, right? That would have to, that default budget number would have to move. Right, but it would still be a one-time expense, so. <clears throat> I think you're missing my point. I must be. I'm not following. I'm, I'm trying to follow as far as the locks go because the locks weren't in this fiscal year's budget. They were proposed for the next one, the budget that we have in front of us now. But if you spend them out of this year's budget, mm -hmm. okay? And you're it, saying it will impact the default budget. It should. I just want to make sure we're talking about the same It should budget. impact the default budget. I don't know what you're saying. So you're asking when the d default number was calculated. Were they in there or were they not? Yeah. Right. I mean, and if it, the, the way it's, they haven't made a decision to do it, so how does that number change in mid year? You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like we haven't encumbered the funds. We've definitely stated it is the intent to do so, but the funds have not been encumbered. What's the price tag on the locks? Do we know? Originally, it was $200 per lock. We met with a vendor last week that has a new model that is less than 100 so we're looking at those locks as a as a possibility. It's not a. It, it appears to be an equal um, comparison in terms of quality. Times how many locks? What's the total number? Roughly? Well, that's that hasn't been determined yet, Guy. The the school board has voiced interest in um, upgrading security camera systems, particularly focused on Bartlett and Glen Lake and Maple and some new cameras at the high school and the locks. Uh, we've only just started to even price them out. So we haven't, um, we've been a little busy with budget and special elections and everything else. We haven't gotten to the point that we have prices. Can you give me a, like a, I mean, are we talking about 100 doors, 1,000 yeah. doors? We're, what? we're talking about 100 grand total okay. project. That's kind of what I'm looking yeah, at. Yeah, so that, okay. that's what we're, and, and I, think, I think the board's intention is when we look at the cameras and we look at the locks, we're going to go as far as we can with that amount of money. 
So I, I guess I, I don't feel comfortable saying it's going to be this much in cameras and this much in locks, but that's, that's the intent of the overall safety project. It could also include some proxy readers, Bartlett in particular, you know, those are the cards, mm -hmm. like a swipe card that lets people through doors. Um, so that's also a piece. We're also looking at um, panic buttons. Um, and so all of those projects together, the total price tag is 100 k So we're looking at a, roughly 100 k effect on the default budget if this becomes a one-time expenditure this year, right? That's my point. That's what we got to find out. When that's that's what my point is. Right. I mean, that makes a big difference. Then that brings that default budget down to 35 over 38. And I'm saying it's, mm -hmm. that was my question. Yep. Well, I'm we, sorry, Pete, that I can't. Uh, and that's I fine, Brian. I don't, I just, I was, that's what I said. I was hoping Ray was going to be here so I could ask those questions. I, I guess we bet wrong. I said that he'd go to New Boston, I'd come here. I, I think we might have uh, <laughs> been better off. Uh, they're probably down there saying, geez, Ray, we're glad that you're here and not Brian. <laughs> no way. You guys planned it. Come on. Could be worse. Could be Frank sitting up there. <laughs> <laughs> Frank. But at least he's got Kim sitting next to him all the time. So. Um, all right, so... Where do we want to go from here? I guess there's a motion to approve that number. Or we want to wait and talk to the default. No, I don't think it's going to change the budget number so much as it will. We can revisit this budget total even after the public hearing. Okay, so we want to go forward to the public hearing with 36308285. I'll make a motion. I'll second. Is it 308 or 038? No. 038. 038 is the default number. Right. Yeah. It's oh, 36,308,285 right right anyway. is where we sit right now. I've got 36,650,285. No. no? Zero. Where'd that come from? I don't know where you're coming you from. It came in late. <laughs> I must have been. I, and I did it. Mm -hmm. I total, hate it. The total school me? board proposed budget, and that's on. That last sheet they gave us the other day? Yeah. Okay. The back of it, the last page, says the school board uh, current budget. I'm, I'm sorry, school board budget proposed. Okay. It was 36,355,252. Okay. All right. We cut $46,967. Okay. And there weren't any other in benefits? I asked that number, and they said no. Okay. So that brought the to that number down to 36,308,285. Sorry. That's where that number comes from. You're right, my math. Motion on the floor is to go to the uh, forward to the public hearing with 36,308,285 on the school budget. Yes, Shea second. Lisa made the motion and Shea seconded it. Question. Go ahead, Guy. Will we be able to adjust this? If we pass this motion, will we be able to adjust this number prior to public hearing? No, we're taking this number to public hearing. Okay. Thanks for the answer. Well, I mean, that's, yep. what, that's what the motion is, to go to the public hearing with it. Now, if you want to vote in favor of it and then potentially bring it up, Later on, if it, as reconsideration, you can do that. Oh, I see. if I vote in favor, then I can make a motion to reconsider if something new comes to light between exactly. now. Exactly. If they if they bring that figure of a hundred thousand to you at public hearing, they brought it up, then we can come back here and change it. Well, no, that's not that's that's their number. We don't we don't, we don't change that hundred that default number. That's oh, not okay. us. That's them. Okay. My yeah. question was when they figure it. Does he, how are they figuring out with the Columbine locks, the $100,000, that's a one-time expenditure if they haven't made a decision yet. But they're going forward stating that the default budget is this number. So, okay. And they did the same thing with the roof. Do you understand where, I'm, where yeah. the question now? I may be... No, I got it all along. I just I don't want to speak for Ray. Okay. Diane, you still seem like you don't understand no, what I'm asking. No, I'm not asking. confused. I... I'm just concerned that it sounds like there was some sneaky business as far as our default and our representations, and, and certainly there is not an intention of being sneaky. In well, I don't think anybody's question. I just wanted to. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out how how you figure it out if you go to 
election day with numbers on there, does that default budget still have going to change? No, I think you make a good point. That's my question. Does it change going ahead? And then that could make a difference with somebody's decision when it comes time to vote. Makes sense what my. Oh, yeah. No, absolutely. Like I said, like what you saw in my facial expression was like, oh, there wasn't any sneaky questions. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I, think, no. I think questions like this come for me because I've just been here so long and I see this. Because you're Yeah, that's just me. Well, I mean, ultimately, when it changes that spread, like I said, it's yeah, just, just, just going to make sway, sway a lot of decisions. Exactly. Okay, so the motion's on the floor to go ahead with the 36 308 285 to the public hearing. All in favor of the motion, so you can by raising your hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Opposed? Abstaining? Just oh. so I can leave Look the door open the to bring it up again. Oh, thanks for your help. Say what? Nothing. Okay. Anything else? Okay, and done with the school. Just a question on that. Have we any update on teacher contracts? Um, we should have them. When is our next meeting? So uh, we'll discuss time. that when we get done. I'm kind of okay. thinking if we hope, I don't know if we can come. <laughs> can we come January 2nd? Ooh. I don't know. I mean, it's a Thursday night. I mean, Jay and I have a Dunbarton school board meeting that night. So if you needed us we'll be otherwise okay. up the road. Yeah, I mean it would just be if if you had the contracts right. It'll be contracts. That's what I'm looking at. And you I could don't want you guys like we need to get you the contracts before we go to public hearing. I don't want to do like we did last year. That was no. the handed the handed the to me at the public hearing. Here's your contracts. The contracts should be ratified by the school board on January sixth. Sixth. Yep. That's our next meeting. I can call a special election. No, no, a special, special meeting. meeting. Sorry, special election. Because you're not going to um, give us. But if you guys can't, let's let's try to figure out when we can so. and get the right people at the table to discuss the contracts. If you meet the sixth, we would have to meet sometimes like the ninth. Yeah. Meet the ninth. Yeah. I'm out of town that week, so it doesn't matter, guy. It's on you. Well, I'm open any of those nights, whatever works for any of you guys. You know, Tuesday, right. Wednesday, or Thursday. I'm out of town that whole week. Thursday's better for me. Okay. Thursday the ninth work for everybody. Thursday the ninth. Okay, so there'll be a budget committee meeting on Thursday the ninth. So I'm, I'm out. Of, I'm out of town then. Yeah, so me too. So. Can I'm, we get up the table, Brian? Me too. We have. <laughs> Yeah, Ray and I will have New Boston's budget hearing that night, but I could ask Kate McGrath, our HR director, to come and speak to the contracts and the numbers. Sure. Okay, be good. And that's it. I, I may that's tell it six, six, so I do it I don't know if we can do we more than one on that. Can you? It'll come out. Right. Okay. On teleconference, can you do more than one on that, Mark? Have you ever done more than one? I've only done one. I've always seen it operated with one. Oh, I saw an attempt for two, but it failed. So we'll speaker. Oh. Well, we may have to do that. Maybe if I can, I'll maybe if well, I'm supposed to pick up all of that. Can you watch it live? I can online. Skype, yeah. Yeah, that or yeah. Yeah. I can do that. It's just a speaker. Yeah. It's just a speaker. Yeah. I got one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I can Skype. I got Skype on this. I don't know how to use it, but I got Skype. Yeah, I think so. Get you in here. We can, we can, we can put you there. We can draw hey, some um, faces. Okay, for the, is there anything else we got on the school side? We're all done with that. So, if you guys, can, if we can make a request of Brian um, to get a hold of uh, Ray and get an answer to Pete's question on, you know, before we get we meet again on the ninth. Sure. As to you know the roof and the and the Columbine sure. locks and. I, I do expect him to cross the threshold at any point in time. Okay. So <laughs> I, I think he'll, he's going to come in. All right. He'll be here, okay. depending unless you're going to adjourn. I don't know if we got anything on the town side. Any more thing? Anything else on the town to go through? Yeah. Are we finished with the town? Something in our new business. Huh? We did new business. Sorry, you weren't here. Oh, I missed that. You were late. You told me I didn't miss that. <laughs> Just kidding, Joe. I was. Did we approve the town budget? Not yet. No. I don't think we have.
Who I there? was kind of hoping Carl was going to be here because I want to ask him about the soul. Yeah, no one touched soul. What's that? No one. We didn't talk soul. I, well, last I, night. I, it's what we talked about. I talked about it, and then I, I left you last night thinking we never we never got a chance to discuss it. I'll talk to him about it on the night. We'll ask him in on the night. Yeah. We'll be, so if we don't approve the number we got on the town until the night, we could do that on the night. Get Carl in. Get, <coughs> unless you're thinking there's no. Adjustment. I just I just keep looking at the well, number. Well, the only problem it's, is what's that put you guys in? Because they've got to have a recommendation when we go to the. Lee, what's your question on salt? I'll ask him. Just, I mean, we we, I just have the numbers up here, but I mean, we've we haven't gone anywhere close to touching the salt line, and. I don't know how many years, and we seem to be, you know, you talked about cutting it down where we're more efficient now. We're using less salt, which is equally as important, especially where we're doing all the, the stuff with the environment and checking all these waters and stuff. I'm sure they're going to be very conscious of putting down salt when it's not absolutely necessary. So, I, so I, I, I know salt line cut possible. Would that work or not work? Yeah, we want to... Oh. See where we started out the year. I mean, we're according to history, it looks like a, a cut could be made in the salt line. Yeah. By, by a, would that you know, be accurate? Yeah, I mean, I would leave a buffer in there for sure. But I mean, it looks like it's always been far higher than what we are using. So I will, I will send him an email and I will ask him for us. And if I remember right, what we did is we took a five-year average and it was dropping. So I had all those notes. Too. Do you remember what he said now? No, we were using a five-year average. But like the numbers the number. were going down, so what he did is he bumped it up to a seven-year average, which right. made the number go back up. Right. So, I mean. Right. The five-year average was 135,000. I mean, we used, in, uh, well, that's right, uh, 115,682, um, 109, see, last year, so this is this year, right? Uh, last year, rather. Will be this year, 109, 409. I mean, you're not going to know it for another couple, right. another week, so, but that's fine. All right, so, I'd like to look I'm, at it. I'm just not sure if that gives us selectment time to discuss our budget. Well, they, they, they would have to do it to the 14th. Do you have a meeting on the 13th? They would have to. I think they have a meeting on the 13th, don't you? They have a to be, meeting every Monday. Yeah, yeah, so then they could meet that Unless Monday. When's Martin Luther King Day? Because if that's a Monday, that's oh, the 13th, that right? It's like the 20th or something. 20th. It's the 20th. Okay. Well, if we take the, the current town number to public hearing, we can still make an adjustment to the salt line after that public hearing. Absolutely. We so, can do it right now. Or we can do it right now. And we can revisit it after the public hearing if we find out that... Yeah, uh, you know, it's... It, Bugging you. We've got it in, yeah, it's bugging me because we got it in at 152, 695. The five year average is 135. I mean, we haven't we haven't gone over $115,000 in quite some time. Make a motion, I'll second it. I make a motion to uh, put it to the five year average of 135. I'll second that. Which I think is a pretty generous buffer considering on what, what we've been using. Yeah, I agree. Sure. No, well, it's going to fund it at 135. It Thirty-five thousand. Yes, that's a reduction of what? So that's going to be down. Seventeen thousand. I didn't bring my seven town budget. Seventeen six nine five. Seventeen what checks? Is it? Is it? I know, I'm it's about seventeen. Seventeen six nine five. Two. Yeah. Yeah. Seventeen six nine five. Seventeen thousand six ninety five direction. That's it. I mean. Uh, Correct. Correction. Okay. Everybody. Any more discussion on this? All in favor, signify by raising your hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, twelve, one. Oh, we want to record the people who voted for it. What I think it's pretty easy. Mark, okay. Now, even that works. Okay. <laughs> That's yeah, I mean, you see who's in the meeting, and you see one abstention and one. So that meets the spirit of the. Okay, so that's fine. Oh, Dan, yeah. take it by you the numbers. Crazy to, to do that with a large board. <coughs> yes. Okay. Anything else? We have to slow down. Um, do you want to approve this town budget now? Do you want to agree? Want to make a motion that we're going to take whatever? What's the total number now? I don't know, but Sue's not here. I haven't gotten the. the All the benefits stuff. We don't have. We haven't figured the date. So we'll wait till the night.
No, she can't wait to get it from me because I don't know that number. I'm not going to know what the 2% reduction means and what the, the that means to the benefit lines. I don't know what the insurance cuts that they just made are. I don't have that number. So we'll do it on the night then? We're going to have to. Yeah, okay. You should have, Mark, I would think you should have all that by then, right? Yep. I'm hoping. That's a couple of weeks. More. Yep. So we heard last night that still weren't from the uh, fair, from the benefits fair, that they had, there were still some people out that hadn't made their decisions. Five, 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 yeah. five, five, there were still five people, so they still got to make all those calculations. We don't know. Plus, what the impact of the 2%. <laughs> And the level of funding of the um, longevity. Yeah, longevity pay. So we don't have those numbers. So I mean, they would have to. Right. Anything else? So when is public hearing? The 16th, January 16th. That's a fr Thursday, right? Yep. Yeah. That's the day we agreed on. That's what Sue was yeah. going to yeah. check. See. She's going to check on this. The she, available. She right. she yeah. did email. Oh. oh. She she sent me an email where she asked Catherine to check with the school. The 16th. Right. That's it. Thursday. Yeah. 16th. This is. <coughs> and the school deliberative is February 1st. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't remember. Town deliberative is February 5th. And the schools is on Saturday, right? Yeah. There. I thought. Yeah. No, that's. Is, it, is it before or after the town deliberative this year? It's switched. It's switched this year. Schools were first. The public. The, the budget committee public hearing is on Saturday. No. Oh, for the school? You mean the town? Okay, well, when's the schools? Right. We need to set the public hearing for the school's budget. We do it all it's the same, same night. We do it at the same time. We do it all in one night. We just have one. I'm thinking of deliberatives. We no, present we the used budgets. to do it two different nights. Not last, last year. year. No. Not last year, but I mean, in the past we have. Not while I've been on this committee. Public hearing, you know. Yeah. Not for five. Yeah. At least five years we have yeah, used to. But the deliberations are usually set for yeah. a separate night. Yeah, that's fine. So we'll do that then. We'll do it the same night. You guys, could, I'm not going to be able to do everything, so need a volunteer. Maybe you two could do the school. Sure. Okay. Be, mind. You don't mind make, doing the presentation for the school? You'll have to fill me in a little bit on it, but I'd like, just like you're what? Just what the, the, you're just going to go work with maybe Diane and make a presentation of the highlights and we make mention of the budget committee did this, 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 and move on from there. Okay. We'll do the same thing on the town side. Maybe Elizabeth can do the town side with me. Or with okay, God. sure. I'll do it with you. That way, one person. Oh, God, that's fine. If he wants to do it, I'm happy to I'm let him. I'm busy enough. Go right ahead. Well, that's fine. kind of what I was what? thinking. That's kind of right. But maybe January will be a little slower for me. Okay. That was right, a, anything else? That's what I thought when I wanted yeah. to make sure I had it right here. Yeah. So now we're going we're gonna to approve this? The town side is not till the night. We are going to wait on that because yeah. yeah. okay. we still okay. don't have the numbers. We don't have a number to look at. So we can't go. Right. right. That's Any other thing? Anything else? Motion to adjourn. Seconded Good by Guy. Yep. I knew that was going to happen. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Well, everybody voted for this guy. <laughs> <laughs>